it's Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. Um, today we are doing a live unboxing of the Hay House um, subscription box for the fall. We're really excited to get our hands on this. We have a deck from Kyle Gray, a, Kyle, a deck from Radley Valentine. So we are just going to wait a moment and then we are going to get into... Um, opening these new decks, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we are always excited when we get to explore with a new deck and do some readings with it. So we will um, open them up, go through them, and then we are going to do some readings, a general reading, and then we will get into some messages. Um, so we are doing this as a live. If you are watching it later, just know that my channel does... Um, Live readings. So if I start interacting with somebody, just know it's because we're doing it as a live, but um, you can watch this whenever you find it. Um, we are really excited, Julie. We are opening the new um, Hay House box. So um, we are always excited with that. And there's a little information card. And the first deck is the Angels and Aura deck with Radley Valentine and Douglas Frazier, which is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, she says we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna go through that one, and then and then we will get into the next one. Um, so we are gonna. Set it right there, <laughs> apparently right there for now. So um, let me be at that in front of it. So we are starting with the Angels and Aura deck. We are excited. I I almost ordered this before I knew it was coming in the um, <clears throat> the box, but it was going to come when we were out of town. So I didn't order it. So as fate would have it. So we also have a little sage here. So we'll. We'll go through them and then we'll do a little clearing on them. I know some of these cards have um, the archangels on them and um, we are going to decided to open them up and I heard go ahead and put my glasses on. So we are going to start with that and we are going to start with looking at the back of those cards. Aren't they just absolutely beautiful? It is the Angels and Aura deck by Radley Valentine and Douglas Frazier. It is their newest deck. It is, um, I have, I have almost all Radley's decks. I'm a big fan of his work. Um, the first card is the card of Shamuel, the green light. And on these cards, it has a message for the, Whichever energy you need, the positive or the, um, like if there's a problem in that area, it's going to give you tips and tips and hints um, along the way. So we get the green light with Archangel Shamuel, which is happiness, vibrancy, energy, and hope. And the opposite of that is anxiety, burdened, restless, and despair. So if you're feeling any of those energies, you can call in Archangel Shamuel. We're going to do those and flip them that way. And the next card is the Divine Self, the card of orange. Intuition, balance, connection, and spirit. And if you're feeling indecisive, uneven, scattered, or ego, this is the card for you. <laughs> the next card is the Guardian Angel card, the card of white. Um, protection, clarity, spirituality, and wisdom. And if you're feeling vulnerable, cluttered, shatter, shadow, or confusion, you can always call in your guardian angels with the white light. Um, I call in Archangel Michael a lot of times with the white light. So um, the next card is Archangel Haniel, which is the card of silver. Goddess, psychic, sacred, and proud. And then ordinary, blocked, disheveled, and embarrassed. So if you're having any of those energies, call in Archangel Haniel. And then the next card is Jovial, which is pink, which we really love this card. Um, compassion, self-care, simplicity, and beauty. And then 
Um, if you're a caretaker, chaotic, self-critical, and shame, this is the archangel for you, Jophiel. Um, the next card is Michael. It is the card of blue, which is wise, honest, trustworthy, and observant. If you're fearful, disapp having disappointment, guarded, or self-doubting, call in Archangel Michael. The next card is the card of Raphael, the green card. Love, travel, humor, and vitality. And if you're feeling emptiness, um, hibernation, sarcasm, or lethargy, call in Archangel Raphael. His heart chakra. The next card is Raziel, which is the rainbow. Um, enlightened, adaptable, enlightened, adaptable, soulful, and connected. So if you're feeling skeptical, rigid, um, materialistic, or detached, call in Archangel Raziel. And then we have Sandifal, which is the turquoise color, which is um, forgiveness, seeking freedom and healing. And if you're feeling resentment, bitterness, um, withdrawn or pain, he is the archangel for you. Next, we move on to Archangel Uriel, the gold card. Um, passion, empathy, uh, epiphany, passion, epiphany entrepreneur and driven and the um if you're feeling imbalanced a workaholic detached or sacrifice call in archangel uriel and then we have um uriel in red which is emotions healing devotion and integrated and it's apathetic if you're wounded unfulfilled or feeling divided call in archangel uriel in the color of red <clears throat> Next, we have Archangel Zadkiel in purple. Pride, destiny, consciousness, forgiveness. Um, if you're feeling indecisive in your ego, lost, or having a lot of judgment, call in Archangel Zadkiel. He will help you find the balance. Next, we have the card of abundance, faith, optimism, excitement, breakthrough. If you're having doubt, pessimism, mundane, or misfortune, um, know that there is the opposite energy of that that is coming to you. Um, if you draw this card and you're having a little, having a little shadow at the moment we hear. Um, then you get the card, the angels are watching over you, which is supported, protected, loved, and encouraged. <clears throat> and she said from the rest, we're just going to read the positive energy on that. And then when we're doing the readings, we will read both. Be the real you, freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, and discouraged. So about being authentically you. Blessings in disguise, trust, revelation, significance, surprises. Um, so are you ready for a new blessing to come in? And then we get the card of career transition, change, excitement, opportunity, and advancement. The card of communication, accuracy, expression, intimacy, and honesty. And then the card of divine magic, wishes, goals, dreams, and accomplishments. We love that rainbow um, energy. And then don't compromise, boundaries, assertiveness, courage, and uh, being unwavering. Got to flip them all over. And then we get the card of energy healing, holistic, well-being, thriving, vibrant. So do you need your energy cleared and healed? Everything's okay. Reassurance, support, guidance, overseen. Um, we feel like um, this is saying, you know, when you can get this card, good news is on the way and we love checks in the mail. Um, <laughs> number 23 is evolution, empowerment, transformation, protected, preparedness. So uh, we are definitely loving the feel of that energy. And the next is focus on your health, wellness, active, radiant, and nourishment. And then have confidence, strength, balance, prepare, tranquil. Walk in that tightrope. Next, we have the card of law of attraction. My angels are with me. Life loves me. I am beautiful. I am prosperous. Everything is going to work out. Um, and then there's some other. So what are you trying to attract? 
And then open your heart to love, vulnerability, forgiveness, allowing, and community. So like that one. Peace, connected, journey, balance, and clearing. Perfect timing, auspicious, clockwork, planning, and patience. Um, and honestly, what we have learned about the perfect timing, the more, the quicker you give up, the quicker it can come. Um, point of view, gratitude, um, assistance, guidance, and understanding, you know, where are you in that? Are you, what is your point of view? Are you looking up or are you looking down? So we have the card of reality check, assessment, exploration, honesty, and determination. So, like that. Um, renewed connection, reunion, reconciliation, intimacy, forgiveness. Um, are you ready to invite someone back in? See the humor, levity, perspective, wisdom, playful, like that energy. Self-employment, commitment, resourcefulness, confidence, rewarding, definitely. Um, Self-respect and worthiness. Um, and some of the words on there are angel, leader, brilliant, worthy, confident, beautiful, loved, queen, superstar. Self-worth, affirmations, independence, motivated. Then we get the card of Shower of Prosperity, Wealth, Opportunity, Success, and Manifestation. Are you ready to bring in abundance and wealth? Soul groups, messages, reunion, connection, and validation. And we have spiritual relationships or spirit relationships. Intuition, connection, sign, and inspiration. How are you at connecting with your spirit guides? And then we get the spiritual adventure. Travel, education, experience, and inspiration. The power of prayer, surrender, believe, affirm, and release. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, time to go. Transformation, completely, completion, confirmation, and exit. Um, where are where do you need to go? And get the card of wise decision, accurate, brilliant, organized, and validation. Um, Know that the angels are always cheering for you. And the card of your ready, momentum, validation, encouragement, and preparedness. Are you ready to take off your training wheels and really go for it? And the last card is your desires are within reach. Faith, patience, excitement, and relief. Um, know that you, you can do anything. Um, so we are going to... Give them a little sage. We had the sage going and apparently <laughs> it wanted a little minute. So we are just going to sage them a little. And then we will be shuffling and um, doing a reading. And then we're going to move on to the other decks in the box. So, um, are excited everyone is here today thank you for anyone that's joining us live as well as watching later um we are really excited to um use these cards they have a great feel in my hand already they you know i have been thinking of them before their arrival so and they came on saturday and um we just let them be in our energy for a little bit so we already feel pretty connected to the cards just because they have already been in our environment for a little bit We are just doing an unboxing and doing general readings to start with, and then we will get into questions. But first, we are doing the unboxing and just doing a little general read for, with each of the new decks from the Hay House Fall Subscription Club um, card deck. So we love, we love their deck. going to give a couple of more shuffles just to get good to mix up. They have a great feel to them. So that is the Angel and Aura deck. So um, we are excited to um, Dave to have gifted us the um, Hay House box subscription for the year. 
Um, I got that for Christmas and this is my fourth box. So uh, it's been a beautiful, beautiful gift. So thank you much, Dave. We love it and we appreciate it. We appreciate you. So he must be on a meeting or he would be here. So we're going to send he's busy. Okay, so we are going to take the top three cards and then the underlying energy and we get the card of don't compromise boundaries, assertiveness, courage, and unwavering. So it's definitely a time we feel about boundaries, boundaries. <laughs> um, then we get the soul groups, messages, reunion, connection, and validation. And then we get the card of Sandoval, um, turquoise card, forgiveness, seeking, freedom, and healing. So we love that all those energies and the underlying energy on the bottom of the deck is divine self, um, which is the card of orange, which is, you know, related to the sacral chakra, which is intuition, balance, connection, and spirit. We are just going to use the, um, <clears throat> the light seer's deck. We love Chris Ann's deck, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. We are using the Chris Ann deck today. Okay. Hi, Miss Beatrice. How are you? <coughs> we are just doing a general reading from the new deck from the Angels and Aura deck to start with. And the current energy is the Five of Swords, crossed by the King of Pentacles. We feel like, <coughs> definitely a throat chakra activation. We feel like we have been encouraging and encouraging everybody to be in their feminine energy. Of recent, you know, learn to receive but we also have to figure out the masculine energy and how to balance both of those. You know, if you're single, you do the masculine thing. You work, you protect yourself, you do all of that thing. And if, you know, so <clears throat> are you having a little mind chaos about financial stability at this time? Um, and if you are, don't compromise. Stand by your, your boundaries on what you desire and know that your, your soul group is right there always to help you, waiting to connect with you always. Um, that is part of the mission and the work, knowing, you know, we are all looking for, you know, our, our soul group. You know, we do this here because we have our soul group. We have Beatrice here. We have Cat Goddess here. We have Tara here. Yeah. We have our, our soul tribe, you know, here. So, and that is what we are meant to do. That is that is where we are headed towards together, towards becoming these light beings that we are headed towards for this ascension. Continue to work on your balance. We feel like that balance with the pinnacle is, is to find a new, you know, how is, you know, are you starting something new? Are you, you know, very young in a career? Are you... Are you just finding your balance with it? Because all that can change as soon as you change your headspace, because the headspace is the Ten of Swords, which is about walking away from those thoughts that are not serving you. Ten is the end of the cycle. So it's about something brand new coming because when you have a 10, you also, that goes back to the one. So you got new clarity on where your thoughts need to go. Um, and what we feel where it needs to go is somewhere from your heart. You know, what is your heart's desire? Where do you want to go? You know, what are you trying to manifest in through your heart, through your love, you know, through this, you know, don't compromise is about your self-love and through your self-love is how you manifest in what you desire. If you're not having self-love in, you're not probably manifesting from the greatest place. Um, the current environment is the temperance card, which is saying the angels are all around you, always, always around you. Um, <clears throat> if you're needing to work on forgiveness and judgment, 
call in Archangel Sandoval. Um, it's definitely right there to help. He's, you know, always there to help guide you. I hear this whole conversation about he, I said he, but as a pronoun, but that's energy, not necessarily. Um, <laughs> so if you need Archangel Sandoval, call, call in that energy. Um, how other people see you, the four of wands, are you, are you finding your own personal happiness? Have you moved off to yourself? Are you doing something a little less? Have you downsized? Have you changed? What are you changing about yourself to be a little more free and care, you know, a little more spontaneous? I feel like these, you know, in this, these people are having a good time changing, you know, they're having fun, you know, they're, they're in a 10. So doing something a little different than the com, you know, everybody else. But sometimes, you know, on this journey, we are definitely different than everybody else. Um, the hopes and fears card is the high priestess. Are you getting messages? Are you afraid of them? Are you, are you meditating so you can get the messages? Archangel Michael's there trying to like tap on your shoulder. Hey, we got a message for you. And the outcome is the sun. They are trying to bring you happiness through your meditation, through forgiveness of, of this judgment is how it's going to bring in you into this higher place, this light body, and just know everything is working out. Call in Archangel Michael, call in Archangel Sandoval. They're both right here to help bring you to that higher level. Um, the underlying energy is the two of wands. You get to make the choice when you're ready to step into victory. You have a contract for it. It's just when are you going to balance your energy and do it and become the emperor? Because in the beginning, we had the king of pentacles. You know, how is your financial stability? How would you like it to be? Are you ready to find the balance between your masculine and your feminine energy? So I'm going to get a Celia card for guidance because we always love our our deck that we created. We created a deck called our, our Celia guidance cards because my guide is Celia. And these are her... <laughs> Her guidance messages. Um, <laughs> so the first card is Chiron, which is, you know, the key symbol on your birth chart. Celia says it is the key to your, you know, inner child healing and a huge key to your, your success here on, you know, on your healing journey. We get the card of teacher wisdom, which is you are a light worker here to share the gifts of your journey. And as you do that, you're opening up new spiritual gifts. Um, so new spiritual growth, opening up new spiritual gifts. Are you ready to open up something new by awakening your heart, um, allowing love to flow through you and to you and by knowing your self-worth? You know, that really is the key. Self-worth and the boundary here. She's like, those are the keys. He has a boundary. The emperor has a boundary. The self-worth is definitely a boundary. And, you know, that don't compromise is definitely all a very strong message from the angels and aura deck. So we would like to give a big shout out to Radley Valentine and Douglas Frazier for their new deck. We love them and we will definitely be using them. And we would like to send a big shout out to Hay House because we love their subscription box. Um, it's definitely a blessing to, um, to receive their new decks. Um, I love when they just arrive. It's always so exciting when I know it's coming. So thank you to Hay House for your subscription box. Thank you to Dave for the beautiful gift of giving it to me. Um, and then 